I got a great question from Jens Philipson. I've read that you shouldn't take 5-HTP without adding L-tyrosine in a 1 to 10 ratio since 5-HTP can lower your dopamine and adrenaline levels and thus you need tyrosine to compensate for this. Would love to hear your take on this. Hey, this is a really common question that I've been getting in response to my 5-HTP video. So I'll answer these concerns today. I'll firstly review the purpose of taking 5-HTP and, ty um, and tyrosine, and then I'll discuss whether you should take 5-HTP on its own or not. And finally, I'll give you some doses suggestions for both L-tyrosine and 5-HTP. Hi, I'm Dr. Janelle Sinclair, and on this YouTube channel we discuss natural strategies for depression and anxiety. So subscribe and hit the bell button to find out about our new weekly videos. Now, let's start with some basics about serotonin, 5-HTP, dopamine, and tyrosine. Serotonin is an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain, and it has calming effects on the body. Serotonin deficiency symptoms include depression, anxiety, insomnia, irritability, and even sugar cravings. 5-HTP is made from the amino acid L-tryptophan, and 5-HTP is then made into serotonin by the enzyme aromatic amino acid decarboxylase, or AAAD for short. Serotonin then goes on to make melatonin the sleep hormone. The purpose of 5-HTP supplementation is to improve serotonin levels. Dopamine is another happy, reward-giving neurotransmitter and helps motivation. Dopamine deficiency symptoms also include depression, but fatigue and inability to feel pleasure, poor motivation, poor concentration, ADHD and Parkinson's disease. Tyrosine is another amino acid and it's the precursor to dopamine. It's first converted into L-dopa and then L-dopa is made into dopamine by the enzyme AAAD. The purpose of taking tyrosine is to improve mood through increasing dopamine levels. What you'll notice is that both serotonin and dopamine production is dependent on the AAAD enzyme. Another thing serotonin and dopamine have in common is that they're both metabolized or broken down in the body by monoamine oxidase or mayo. So let's get to the question about whether it's safe to take 5-HTP on its own or must you take 5-HTP and tyrosine together? Let's get into the question about whether it's safe to take 5-HTP on its own or must you take 5-HTP and tyrosine together? So the major concern here is that if you take 5-HTP on its own, the AAAD enzyme will be too busy working on the 5-HTP supplements, making lots of serotonin, and it will neglect the production of dopamine. The enzyme activity that breaks down serotonin will also rise and because of this the dopamine metabolism will also increase leading to lowered dopamine levels. There is also, this, there is also the same concern if you take L-tyrosine supplements on its own that the body will be making lots of dopamine and serotonin production will drop. Here's my thoughts on these concerns and argument. Firstly, 5-HDP has been used clinically for over 50 years in the treatment of depression with a lot of success. And in the 15 years that I've been working in the natural medicine industry, I have never heard a lecturer say that you shouldn't take 5-HDP on its own. I personally think that the evidence for 5-HDP depleting dopamine and noradrenaline isn't strong or that it is at least quite preliminary. I've only come across one lot of research that people are using as evidence that you must take tyrosine alongside 5-HTP. And if you look at this research by these scientists, they're not trying to prove that you should always take tyrosine with 5-HTP. They're really just validating a urinary testing system for neurotransmitters. 
They use this system to measure both dopamine and serotonin levels in patients, and they're showing that they can achieve much better clinical results using this test which guides them on how much tyrosine and 5-HTP patients need to get better. I think that they're also really showing when it comes to depression, serotonin deficiency is not the only cause. They're suggesting that you need to look at dopamine also. I agree with these researchers that there's not one cause of depression and anxiety. There's much more to the story than serotonin. I discuss nutritional deficiencies, hormonal imbalances, poor gut health and genetic weaknesses and how they can cause mental unwellness on this YouTube channel all the time. If you're interested in learning about these biochemical imbalances and how they can cause depression and anxiety and how you can recognize them in yourself, please download my free symptoms checklist. You'll find a link in the description section below. So saying all that, I think that the standard practice is to take 5-HTP on its own without any tyrosine. But, and there is a but, not everyone does well on 5-HTP alone. Not everyone has a serotonin deficiency. Some people have a dopamine deficiency. And so L-tyrosine should also be considered. So what do you do if you don't have access to this urine test? I recommend that you try the following. Number one, look at the dopamine and serotonin deficiency symptoms and see if one of these lists sounds more like you than the other. Maybe go back to the symptoms I discussed right at the beginning of this video. So if you're depressed and anxious, you may need 5-HTP supplementation to improve serotonin. If you're depressed, fatigued and have poor concentration, you may benefit from improving dopamine through tyrosine supplementation. Alternatively, if you feel depressed and fatigued and anxious, you may benefit from supplementing with both. Another approach is just to start on 5-HTP and see if you respond to it. If you don't respond, or within a week or two you feel less motivated and more fatigued, you may want to introduce some L-tyrosine. Perhaps your dopamine levels are low or suboptimal, and therefore the 5-HTP supplementation is exacerbating a dopamine deficiency. So really, I don't think that the question is, do you have to take tyrosine with 5-HTP, but rather, what is it that your particular brain and body needs? Each person will respond differently to amino acid supplementation. You may need more or less tyrosine or 5-HTP compared to someone else. Let's quickly go over some guidelines for taking tyrosine and 5-HTP on their own or together. Firstly, if you're on an antidepressant medication, it's not recommended that you take 5-HTP or tyrosine with them. I have a full video on 5-HTP dosages for depression and it discusses interactions with medications at the 6 minute mark, so please check that information out. If you're on thyroid medication or have high blood pressure, please talk to your doctor or naturopath before starting our tyrosine supplementation. Do not take our tyrosine if you have a diagnosis of bipolar disorder. Standard dosages for 5-HDP for depression are 50 to 100 milligrams three times daily with meals. The last dosage of the day can be taken at bedtime instead if you need help with your sleep. Standard dosages for L-tyrosine for depression are 500 to 2,000 milligrams 30 minutes before breakfast and lunch. If you take it later in the day, it can affect your sleep. With both of these supplements, I suggest that you start at the lowest dose and increase slowly over four weeks only if necessary. I suggest you take the lowest amount of the supplement as you require to help you with your symptoms. 
Finally, if you like to take L-tyrosine and 5-HTP together, then take L-tyrosine 30 minutes before breakfast and lunch at 500 to 2000 milligrams daily, sort of to help mood and motivation early in the morning, and then take between 50 to 150 milligrams of 5-HTP with lunch and dinner to calm your body down but improve mood and sleep. It's often recommended that you take 5-HTP and L-tyrosine at a ratio of 1 to 10. If you follow my recommendations here, then you'll be in the right ballpark. I hope this video has been helpful. Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.